Here has to graph 4y squared minus x squared minus 40y minus 12x plus 60 equals 0. Now I notice this is an equation of a hyperbola. And since the leading coefficient here for y squared is positive, this is a hyperbola that opens upward and downward. Let's begin by rewriting this in standard form. To do that, we'll group the terms involving y and then the terms involving x. So in this case we have 4y squared minus 40y, then I'm going to leave some space, minus x squared minus 12x equals, in this case, subtracting 60 on both sides, we're left with equals negative 60. Now at this point we will complete the square for each one of these groupings. And so to do that we can see here for, this, for the y terms we need to factor out a 4. And that leaves us with y squared minus 10y, again leaving some space. For the terms involving x here we'll factor out a negative 1. And that leaves us with x squared plus 12x equals negative 60. Now at this point we can complete the square with b over 2 squared. So in this case b is negative 10. So negative 10 over 2 squared is equal to negative 5 squared or 25. And so here we'll add 25. And then to balance the equation we'll add 100 on the right side. That's 4 times 25. Now doing the same, uh, same thing here for the terms involving x, we have, in this case, b is 12. So 12 divided by 2 squared is uh, 6 squared or 36. And so here we'll add 36. And then balance that by subtracting 36 on the other side. That's negative 1 times 36. Okay, now at this point we'll factor. And we can see here we have four times a perfect square trinomial, or four times y minus five squared minus x plus six squared equals, now on the right side this adds up to four. Now one more step, standard form requires this to be equal to 1, so what we'll do at this point is divide both sides by 4. And that'll leave us with standard form, we have y minus 5 squared over 1 minus x plus 6 squared over 4 equals 1. Now we'll use this to determine the center of the hyperbola. In this case the center is negative 6 comma 5. And here also a is the square root of 4 or 2 and b is the square root of 1 which is 1. Now we'll use this to sketch the hyperbola. Let's begin with the center. So the center here is at negative 6 comma 5, right about there. Now from the center we'll mark two units horizontally left and right. And then we'll, from the center we'll mark one unit vertically up and down. Now we'll use these four points to construct the fundamental rectangle. Now the lines through the corners of this fundamental rectangle will be the asymptotes of this particular hyperbola. So let's draw those in now. 
Okay, and since this is a hyperbola opening upward and downward, the vertices will be right here at negative 6, 6 and negative 6, 4. So we want to draw our hyperbola through those points and asymptotic to these asymptotes. And there we have it, a rough sketch of the given hyperbola.